Here we are, beautiful people. So today I'm here to talk about something very, very, very important, especially during this time of the year, because we are in summer, summer is made to have fun, for many things, the sun is shining, and summer is famous also for another thing, because it's the time of the year when we usually take a break and we travel. So, uh, I don't know what traveling means to you, but to me, it's most of the times, it, it means take a flight. And it means also packing. <laughs> what an horrible noun. I mean, seriously. Especially for me that I'm a very anxious person, and I don't know if you are the same, but I hope no. But um, it's a terrible word. As soon as uh, I hear the sound of this word, I'm just start panicking. Uh, it's a nightmare for many, many reasons, <laughs> but uh, one of the reasons why I consider packing uh, a nightmare is because I cannot bring with me most of my liquids or my products with me on the plane, on the flight, during the flight. So uh, I, I didn't find a solution until recently when I have created my personal carry on travel skincare routine so today i'm gonna show i share my skincare routine with you so before starting some general reminders for you all i know that everyone already have took a flight in your life or maybe not whatever it's good to keep in mind that is not allowed any liquid more than 100 milliliters and the total must fit just in one liter so I'm sure all of you once in your life have seen their products, favorite products in the trash bin after the security check. <laughs> to me, it happened, uh, it happened all the time, but not, not anymore, but before it happened like countless times. And it was always the same feeling of frustration, like struggling <laughs> and uh, like, pleasing the cops, nothing. Anyway, I learned my lesson and this is why I use travel sites products. But what to bring when you are, like what type of products bring on the flight and what is good for you, I'm gonna explain all of this during this video. So setting aside the fact that you probably wedge into a seat about the size of a toaster and maybe sleeping, sitting up is like impossible. <laughs> Your skin on a plane can be a serious problem. Whatever you are stretched out, like in a bed, in the first class, or just fighting for the armrest in the economy. <laughs> so first of all, I put all my product here in a transparency bag so what exactly happens now on your skin at 30,000 feet so you must typically uh, know that our skin is comfortable when the humidity is between 40 to 70 percent most of the airplane cabins are about 20 percent which is less than half of what we are used to so Along with this, there is the lack, the, I mean, what, along with this lack of humidity comes a dip in the hydration level uh, of your skin, of course, on the plane. So the result could be dry skin, flaky skin, or red skin. So your best defense is, first of all, drink a lot, 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 lot of water and smart product picks that you usually um, uh, use during the day but you have to use on in during the flight so this is what I do first thing as soon as uh, the flight take off I just run very fast <laughs> into the restroom and I open my bag and I'm preparing my skin like I cleanse my skin I use these travel sides of the advanced sorry advanced illuminating cleanser and um, if I have any makeup on, I just remove it with um, a makeup remover wipes or even if I don't like the wipes that much and I actually don't use them that a lot at all during my routine skincare, but on the flight, you know, it's a different situation. The restrooms are very small. I don't like to mess up over there. So I just remove it very quickly with a wipe. 
and uh, after that I just pump uh, a very small amount of the cleanser on my wet hands and I gently massage and I rinse so what to do after so um, I like to take some time for me especially on flights because usually when I take a flight is a long flight so I know that I have like full 14 hours direct flight just for myself so I want to enjoy it and um, I, I, I want to take care a little bit of my skin so second step I use the Crystallis enzyme peel all travel sites I love the travel sites <laughs> so I just apply a thin layer of peel and I just go back on my seat I wait for 10 minutes maybe eat a snack watch something and then I remove it or go back to the restroom and I just wash it over or I just ask for a towel that they usually have on the plane so you can ask for an attendant to give once to you otherwise water is already is, is okay as well so commercial aircraft tend to be pressurized between 6,000 to 8,000 feet which um, it means is the equivalent of uh, the sensation that you might feel when you are standing on the top of a mountain I don't know if uh, you ever stand on the top of a mountain by the way there is less blood flow to your skin which makes like um, a dull experience, uh, appearance and this is why at this point I like to play a little bit with my serum and sometimes I put them on like all together all in once <laughs> and sometimes I just wait from one to another one so I start first of all to put the advanced C 30 B E N Perulic Serum Benon. So this product is very cool because it actually contains 30% of vitamin C, which is um, also the highest on the market that you can find. And um, I like this serum because it um, promotes skin lightening and offer like an antibacterial and anti-inflammatory benefits which is what we really need especially when we are um, during like during the flight inside the the aircraft so after that i put another of my favorite serum and is the egf fibroblast boost serum so this serum encourages the process of cellular renewal while boosting the vibrancy of collagen elastin and hyaluronic acid in the epidermis in fact what you want to know is just like when there is no water in the air moisturizers don't work as well because since there is nothing to grab onto so you want to put some hyaluronic acid first because hyaluronic acid is a sugar molecule that is found naturally in the skin so it has this amazing ability to bind to water so that's why I mix it with another moisturizer to make the effect more strong and I'm using the peptide C30DE and ferulic cream so contains for thinner hair there is less screening of the harmful radiation so last serum I put on is this the ultra defense calming serum so this is a highly effective daily use serum and elevates stress uh, sensitive or irritable, irritable skin so reinforce also skin resistance toward uh, environmental stressor and support recovery of the skin barrier uh, contains also arnica extracts offer anti-inflammatory and stimulating activity normalize superficial microcirculation and improve capillary tissue quality so you in fact as um, as already said <clears throat> on the airplane due to the pressure uh, your blood flow is less than normal so you need to boost a little bit your circulation and another factor that could you know could be very bad for your skin is stress so you might not be stressed but there is a level of anxiety that happens when we fly so this stress can lead to increased hormones st stress hormones which we know increases redness and any inflammatory condition of our skin like eczema or psoriasis so 
what you want to do is prevent any additional irritation to your condition. Last two products that I put on my carry on travel skincare routine are the neck and decollete lift cream, of course, because now I'm taking care of my face and I want my neck to be spoiled as well. So remember that the neck is one of the parts of your body that shows um, more the age signs, unfortunately. It's like the hands, you know, so you want prevent and not cure because it's even very difficult after for the gravity to help these parts of your body. So please, no turtle necks. It's not winter time. <laughs> we want to show our beautiful necks. <laughs> so last products uh, is the only one I use full size is the Perfecting Eye Peptide Serum. So inactivity as well as too much salt intake thanks to the airport snacks and all the rest. <laughs> During a long flight causes water retention which show up as facial puffiness. <laughs> so you wanna try a walk a little bit if you can, I know it's very difficult, but for the under eye area, I, I use this serum because uh, it's good for target puffy eye bags and concern in and around the eye area. Also, the botanical remedies uh, strengths capillaries and reactivates the microcirculation. As you see, my bag is full now. So, I think that is all for today. I have more tips for long flights, short flights as well, but I will keep it until the next video. <laughs> but if you like this video, please thumb up for me. And if you have any questions, just comment here on the box below or just mm, direct message me on instagram at julia Lupetti real and julia not with the j but g i u <laughs> um in the box below i will also mm, link all the products they have mentioned in this video of the travel site so you are able to have a, a safe and very pleasure flight also please remember to follow luvanti on instagram at luvanti skincare and uh, check also on the website, sign up on the newsletter because you can receive many codes and others of giveaway. So just go online at www.luvanti.com. So last but not least, I have uh, a special gift for you, for my followers. So use the code 15 off at the checkout just to receive a 50% off on your first order. Uh, the collection are not included so i think for today is all thank you so much for watching me see you soon and sending love and light to you all